welcome to free CAD modeling tutorial and in this tutorial we will model part 114 from cadexpert.com you can get this part sketch on this website oh, and I will also upload this image in the video description so start the part modeling so to start the part modeling what I will do first what I will do I will uh, draw this top profile first this top profile and after that I will make this bottom profile here and this top profile and after that I will adapt that cut and fillet so let's start to start our part we will create a new file go to the task create a body and create a sketch so I will select this plane XY and I create sketch on my top plane now I will uh, draw a simple rectangle here and uh, I will make it symmetric so I will select this point and this point and this plane I select this point and this point and this plane and I will make symmetric so overall length of this part is 286.6 so I will select this line and say horizontal dimension 286.6 and its vertical is if you see the vertical we can find that it is a R50 here it is R50 so diameter will be 100 so that would be the total width of the part so I will select vertical dimension and give 100 mm now I will move my dimension outside so this is fully constrained sketch now I will close the sketch and I will give the pad so pad dimension I we can find here it is 50 it is 50 so I will give here dimension 50 and it would be symmetric to the plane and and then on this top face I will I will make this profile this profile so I will select top face and top face and sketch and here also I draw a rectangle and uh, width is 30 here you can find it here width is 30 <coughs> means thickness of that uh, boss which we are going to make this one and uh, its length is 100 so here it is given diameter which is not correct <coughs> So I will select this I give vertical dimension 30 and I select this line and give horizontal dimension of 100 I move my dimension now this dimension to be symmetric also I select this point this point and this mid plane and I say symmetric I select this point and this point and select this plane and I say symmetric so my sketch is fully constrained now we will find the height of this boss so if you see here from center it is 50 and its radius is r50 so this so th this is the second feature which we have made now we will make the bottom feature so for bottom feature let's find out let's find out its, uh, its total height so same it is 50 here same it is 50 here from the edge and this is the radius r50 means 100 so total here to this point will be 150 ok so for that <coughs> we will create on sketch and we will select our mid plane 
and I say sketch I press 0 and go to the right view and uh, here I will include my edge and I simply draw a rectangle here and I can go to the wireframe from visiting here so I will give dimension is 100 but it should be symmetric so I select this point and this point and this mid plane line and I say symmetric total height would be 150 so I select this and I give vertical dimension 150 and I close the sketch and now its uh, thickness is 30 mm here which is given in, th in this view front view so I will create a pad and uh, I can go to the flat lines from here and I give 30 symmetry to the plane so this is how we have made our outer shape of this part now we will now we will create the fillet and slots so for that I will select on this face and I say sketch so here is a radius R50 so I will project on edge and select this and this and I will draw a three point arc here three point arc and I will select this line and this line this this line and this arc with tangent relation same for this and this I say tangent relation and I coincide this point with this axis and I say coincidence this is the constraint now I will close my profile I will close from this and this so our sketch is fully constrained so I will create a cut and I will say through all and I say ok now I go in model select this pocket and say go to the mirror select YZ plane and mirror the feature same way now we will uh, go on this top view and I will create a sketch and if you see in the top view here is a radius given 50 so I will project my edge this edge and this edge and I will create three point arc from here to here and uh, I will first I will coincide this with the axis and then I will make it tangent and I will make tangent with this line say tangent so now I will close my profile to make the cut so I will join this with this and this with this so our sketch is fully constrained now I go to the cut features and I will say through all ok now I will select pocket 001 and I will say mirror and I will select my this mid plane exit <coughs> so this feature got mirror same way same way we will do on other side but uh, here we can uh, this pocket we can meet at uh, both the side that will be good and we will mirror both the cut at the same time so I will add one more feature in this sketch and uh, I will draw here three point arc from here to here and uh, I will coincide with this uh, axis and I will say coincidence and I will make it tangent with this and this say tangent I will close my profile from here to here and this to this so this is fully constrained so okay so it is it's automatically adapted the cut and mirror feature also 
so that is a good feature of a uh, free cat else in the most of the software when you uh, add extra sketch then you have to again select the profile to make the cut but here i have saw that when i have added the sketch on the other side it automatically adapted the cut and mirror also so now on the bottom side we will do the same so i will select this face and i say create a sketch now i will project geometry here and here i will also say three point arc and uh, i will make coincidence relation between this point and axis and i will make tangent relation tangents and tangents and now now i will say like join this two point and this with this and i will i will say cut through all okay and i say it and i mirror it so it's automatically adapted the mirror but here i will select a exit plane so this is how we have made our overall shape of the part now we will make the slots slot uh, slot for this portion so if you see that slot the dimension here is given from the face it is 50 and slot is r50 sorry r25 is the radius of the slot here so i will select a sketch a face and say sketch and uh, here i will select the slot features and i will draw my slot like this and the uh, slot radius is 25 r25 so i will select radial dimension and give it 25 and uh, from the edge it is a 50 so i will select the edge and project it and better for better visibility i will switch to wireframe and i will select this point and my center of the slot i will give dimension of 50 and as we are removing the material as we are removing the material so i i can give any dimension from say it 100 so if you look the model uh, then part does not looks appropriate so i will make the cut here Uh, then we will modify the our pad feature so here i switch to flat lines as i say cut and i will say through all but if you look that uh, part it does not look from like the reference so we have to where we have did the mistake we have to find out so for this pad uh, there is some mistake uh, in the this pad especially in the height of the pad height of the pad we have given uh, 150 so this is not 150 because from here it is 150 and radially i have to count 50 here because from this center to because if we join this arc like this so it will come 50 to 15 50 so i will to this 100 Okay. Now we will we will cross check our every features. Now click to select. Okay. So here I will control this line and this line. give tangent okay select this point and this axis a now this will be the horizontal i 
will select this now make coincidence with this so something conflicting so better so we have resolved the issue with this sketch and we have updated it now we will select our see our mirror features mirror feature is okay now we will go to the pocket now uh, the error which we are getting it now it's look like our reference sketch so freecad is fully parametric uh, if you did any error in the previous uh, sketch so when you adapt it the rest of the feature if if those feature have dependency then those will automatically updated now we have made this slot now uh, we will make slot on the top face so I will select this top face and say sketch and here I will draw my slot passing through this axis so I will draw a temporary slot here and the radius is R25 so I will select here and give my radial dimension R25 and from center to center if you see here from center to center it is 200 so that means from my origin it will be 100 so I will move my dimension little bit outside and for to see my origin points I will switch to the wireframe and I select this point and this point and I say horizontal and I will give it dimension of 100 and as we are removing the material so <coughs> this width is not that much this length of the slot between two points is not that much important but for our constraining purpose we will give some it a rough dimension from center to center I say horizontal and I will say it is 60 and uh, I will close it and I will switch to flat lines and now I will go to the cut and I will say it through all click on ok now <coughs> we will mirror this features part uh, pocket 004 so i will select that feature and click on my mirror tool so this the selected feature will be added here now i will select my plane so uh, if you see here freecad is that uh, so much smart that it automatically selected the yz plane okay without i have given instructions to choose that plane so if you see here yz plane it is automatically selected so i will say ok and now uh, at the bottom side here there is a hole this uh, hole of dia 40 which is a uh, concentric with this arc ok so i, I will uh, we will create the hole so we i will select this face and i will project my geometry here and I will draw a circle on this center point and I give diameter dimension of 40 so I will select this and I say 40 I will close the sketch so it is a whole diameter of 40 so it it might be get manufactured with milling operations so there is no need to use the whole features so I will directly make this hole with the cut so I will say it through all and I say ok so if you see our part we have uh, completed our part tutorial 114 the only thing remains in this part is to give the uh, look as per our reference model so I will select body and go appearances and I will select shape color and uh, here I will give give some color yes so if you see that uh, we have model our part 114 as per our reference so friend uh, this is all about part 114 and uh, if you have any suggestion regarding the modeling of this part you can give your valuable suggestion in the comment section of this box 
सो थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग थैंक यू फॉर वैल्यूएबल टाइम एंड हैव अ नाइस डे